Hey everybody, hope you're good. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Abby, and if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So in today's video, I will be reviewing my most affordable sunscreen ever, and that is the Little CN Sun Cream, and this is actually the kids' version. If you want to know more about other sunscreens, I have a playlist which shows you all the other sunscreens I have reviewed most of them are very very affordable so this is just another affordable sunscreen i thought i would try so without further ado let's get into the video so i was again minding my business on a sunday just doing my weekly shop and for whatever reason this caught my eye uh, so this is a kid's sunscreen and i've always wondered if like the kids um because i know some kids sunscreens do work out really well i used to use one by banana boat and I do know from a few of Dr. Dre's videos that she has recommended kids sunscreens as well. It's kind of like a marketing thing, you know, just because it's a kid's sunscreen doesn't mean you can't use it. If anything, it might just end up being a little bit more moisturizing because, you know, for kids, it needs to be easily blendable to kind of get, get it on them as quickly as possible. Because, you know, they're very regularly little things. So for this and looking at the claims as well, I thought this might be a good one to try. So it says it is water resistant, fragrance free and highly effective. Of course, because it's factor 50 plus and it's fragrance free, I thought this will be worth a try. And it, it's um, broad spectrum. It has both UV and UVB protection. So it kind of ticks all my like the most basic boxes. So I thought it would definitely be worth a try. There isn't a lot of information on here um, in terms of like the filters it contains on the back, you know, they do just give you like the general warning in terms of what you should do with sunscreen and how you should, you know, depend on it, yada yada yada. Um, but there isn't really any further information. Uh, there is 100 ml of product in here, so it's a really decent size. It's double what you'd get for a regular face sunscreen. So if you're looking for a bargain, um, this will definitely be right up there. I think this might have been £2.99. I'm pretty sure it was like under under £4. So it's extremely cheap. And for a factor 50 plus, it literally doesn't get better than this in terms of pricing and value for money. Um, you know, yeah, just value for money in terms of the amount that you get for the price you pay. It doesn't get better than this. So... So I'm looking at the um, ingredients list, the first thing that cries out in terms of the filters is octocrylene. Um, it also has able benzone and um, another sunscreen filter I hadn't actually heard of with this, which is ethyl hexyl salicylate. That's another like UVB filter. That's really as far as like my knowledge goes. So <laughs> you might want to do some research to find out any other filters in here, but somehow with these filters they've managed to get SPF 50 and it's actually water resistant as well it's great for you know beach days I suppose in terms of the formula so the formula in my opinion in my humble opinion is more moisturizing so it's not greasy 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 that you couldn't use it but it's like on the peak of moisturizing um, for me it's not quite into the greasy territory yet um, when I apply it to my face it does look shinier than what I would love to say say okay I'm gonna go out and just go on with my day with this because I have oily skin um or typically oily skin I do have a bit of dryness flakiness I guess um in my jaw area as a result of using tretinoin um but typically speaking or before tretinoin my life before tretinoin my face was basically normal to oily so oily in my t-zone and normal in the um peripheral area I guess so yeah um because of that shininess I will definitely powder down with this once it's powdered down it's fine like you can literally go about your day and you can apply makeup on it as well with no issues whatsoever I just like the fact that it's really blendable it's a really really lovely formula it blends in no white cast if that's like the only thing you're looking for in this video there's no white cast there's no scent as well you know it has the typical like typical sunscreen scent really um that's all there is and it's just a great one to chuck in the bag either if you're going out you know to the beach or if you're just out and about and you want to top up on your sunscreen this would be a good one because it's moisturizing as well i think it's really good for the kids again because you don't necessarily need to moisturize them and then apply this just apply this and you know you're good to go so um i, I guess maybe in terms of like cutting down time in terms of what you how you use it you don't need to apply too much and the 100 ml is good enough you know it could probably come in a bigger bottle like a 200 ml product um 200 ml container 
but 100 mls is definitely good enough for travel and for everyday use as well and for the price you can literally get 10 of these and you wouldn't even touch on some of the price points i'm seeing out here these days on you know small 50 ml containers for sunscreen so you can get 10 of these and you'd be fine so i love the fact that this is there for like those who are you know if you're if you're not looking to spend too much on sunscreen and sunscreen really doesn't have to be expensive what you're paying for at the end of the day is probably the marketing and the research um yeah the research is another thing for some brands what you're paying for is the research for other brands what you're paying for is the marketing um yeah and prestige of associate being associated with that brand so it depends on you know where you want to fall but for a really really budget sunscreen like this to be water resistant fragrance free and spf 50 plus both you know uv and u and for you to get both uv and uvb protection it's definitely a winner um uh, does it contain some of the newer fancier filters no probably i don't think i spotted any of them in here it contains some of the old school filters but it's formulated to get it above the factor 50 um that you need so you know whatever they've done they've done it well because it's definitely above 50 um and as long as you make sure you you know top up when you need to like every two three hours depending on how your day is going and if that's realistic for you and your personal schedule you'd definitely be fine with this but for my face i wouldn't necessarily apply it um all over and just go out with this on a day on days i guess if i'm like in a rush and I just need to quickly grab something and I grab this. I could, but I'd prefer to blot, you know, I'd not blot, I'd prefer to apply powder on top, at least in my T-zone anyway, um, because it is more shiny than what I would like for my, you know, my skin type. This is a good mixer, for, I guess I, want, I don't want to say mixer because I feel like, <laughs> I'm, you know, kind of edging into very tricky territory there. But I do mix it. I do kind of, I layer it basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So I do layer this sunscreen. Um, I wouldn't apply it on its own. I layer it with other sunscreens that are a bit more tricky to work with. And it's a great mixer in that sense. Um, I wouldn't apply it all over my face and not powder down and just go out my door. I'd prefer to powder down because it's a bit more shiny than what I would like. But it's not so greasy that I feel uncomfortable. So if that helps, um, that's that's like my two cents if you have dry skin you'd probably love this if you have normal skin you probably like this as well if you have oily skin you would like this if you powder um unless you like the really really glowy glowy base for your makeup then that's what this will give you so hope that helps another thing as well um i do find that it stings the eye area so just be careful with that if anything use a sunscreen stick around the eye area on me i still apply it around the eye area and it's not like terrible or anything if i happen to be you know like scratching um, itching my eyes and it happens to get in it's not terrible it's really not it's just like a slight bit of irritation um so i still use it all over my eyes most times if i use it um but i don't tend to use it like that is what i'm trying to say so the times that i do i just use it and just you know get on with my day but um for for kids specifically i definitely say use something else around the eyes and when i say something else there are two things i tend to use that you could try uh, this is the Sultan Kids Sunscreen Stick, SPF 50 plus, it's from Boot. And it's like 3 dollars it's massive. And then this is the Vichy Ideal Soleil SPF 50 Sunscreen Stick as well. You just wind it up. These two are great. I use both of these on my daughter um, as well, just um, in combination with the sunscreen for the rest of her face and her body. So yeah. It's good, it's good, it's, it's definitely worth a try and for the value for money you just can't beat it. For the fact that it's SPF 50 plus as well, it's just you know an added bonus so definitely try it. So if you want to know more about other affordable sunscreens, I do have a playlist like I mentioned. Just check the description box out and you will see other affordable sunscreens I have reviewed. But as I've said, this is probably, actually oh is it though? Because the Altruist sunscreen is right up there as well. I think this is probably neck and neck with the altruist sunscreen i want to say no i take that back this is the cheapest sunscreen i have reviewed to date um yeah it is 
so yeah check it out if you're at your local Lidl um, and see if you like it it's definitely great for kids anyway um, if you don't want to blow the budget on a kid's sunscreen try this see you until next time stay blessed have a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are and i will catch you in my next video bye